So step 8. Using the contents of the file specimen1.txt, place the text, our company, all the way to, to the customer, into cell A. Place the text plants for all, all the way to evergreen, into cell B. Place the text you can contact us in many ways, into cell C. And place the text through our website all the way to of our services into cell E. So just to save time, I've copied most of this information to the table already. It well, looks like all of it. But just to show you how to do it, I'm just going to remove the information from cell A. So what would happen is they would supply us with a file. So in this case, specimen1.txt. And when they say place the text, they, they just want us to copy it from this file and put it into front page. So in your exam, you would have your list of files in your folder. What you're going to do is going to find this file, so specimen1.txt. Here it is here for me. I'm going to double click on it. And uh, I'm just going to look at this information. So it looks like it's going to open up a notepad or Microsoft Word. So let's do the first bullet. Place the text, our company, to, to the customer, into cell A. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that sentence. I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to go to front page. So just keep in mind from our previous question, cell A is row, well, the first row of our table. So I'm just going to right click and paste. And I'll put the text in there for me. But if you look at your table and you can see that text is not coming out quite all right. So for example, in this cell over here, we want the text to be underneath each other. We want acid, then alkali, neutral. So that's all fine. Uh, you can contact us in many ways, that is that is fine as well. But you can see this text over here is kind of bunched in the corner. And there's all this space here that's not being used. So I'm just going to put my cursor before the C of catalog. I'm going to put hit backspace once. And you can see it's going to, the text will move up to take up the space on the right that was supposed to be used. Okay, so let's have a look at the next question, part 9. Or step nine, set the text, our company, to the customer as style H2. All right, so that text is this text in cell A. We want to make this style H2. So to do this, what we do, you highlight this text, you go down to code, and what we have to do now is it's not like before we would have the tags already made for us, like style P. You can see in this case, there are no tags before our text or after it, so we'd have to make the tags ourselves. So we have to make the tag H2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put crocodile symbol, H2, crocodile symbol. And you'll see that this tag over here is automatically made. And I'm just going to move this to the end of our text. So that everything between these two H2 tags should now become h2 so if i click on design you can see that it's changed so let's do the next one plants for all soil types must be as style p so plants for all soil types I'm going to highlight it go down to code i'm going to make style p so crocodile symbol p crocodile symbol and then move the automatically made tag to the end so the tag with the slash should always be the one that we move. All right, so we go back to design. You can see that plants for all soil types basically looks the same because all of these um, sentences, uh, the text that we've copied, will be in style P probably automatically all the time. It's the paragraph style. It's the default style. Okay, acid. Acid must be LI. LI means a list. So this should come out as a bullet. So acid, going to highlight, code, and crocodile symbol, li, crocodile symbol, and I'm just going to move the end tag to the end. So now acid should be a list. If I go back to design, and you can see it is, it comes out as a bullet. So alkaline neutral, both of these have to be li. The problem is you can't make them both li. You have to do them individually. So you can't do it all at once. But what you can do is go crocodile symbol li, crocodile symbol, move the end tag to the end, and I'll just do neutral here as well. So you don't have to keep on going between design and code. 
if you are confident you know what to do you, and uh, as long as at the end you check that it works so if I go to design now you can see both of these have bullets so that's coming out all right um, and of all types of plants I don't know if we have this text a style P let's just have a look and we got for all environments so that's a little bit different but I'll do this anyway let's just pretend that's this text so style P so again crocodile symbol P crocodile symbol I'm going to drag it to the end after the colon probably won't change there we go it's in style P deciduous coniferous evergreen these are all li so I'm going to change these as well so I'm going to do them all at once so li crocodile symbol li move the text to the end li move the text to the end so hopefully you can see this process is just the same and you can see they all have bullets now so let's keep going the last two bullets you contact contact us in many ways as h2 so i'm going to highlight that text code and crocodile symbol h2 crocodile symbol highlight the end code to the end this should change so it should be heading two you can see it has changed and finally the last one we've got to make as h4 the text in the last cell so i'm going to highlight this text code so just before our text crocodile symbol h4 crocodile symbol and you move the tag always to the end so i'm going to move it after the full stop and go back to design and that's it so in this video we saw how to copy text basically into our table and how to change the text into different styles i hope that's okay let me know if you have any questions